This video series has introduced the most basic structure for the ECU. However, the elements can be arranged differently as needed. Within a theme that is particularly rich, the most basic formulation can be stacked to make and illustrate multiple analytic points. Or, one analytic point can have extensive analytic commentary. Alternatively, two excerpts can support an analytic point. In this case, consider the power of showcasing both textual and visual evidence from the ethnographic record in succession. These permutations keep the thematic narrative from feeling or sounding repetitive. In fact, after mastering the dynamics within an ECU, writers can play with conceptual relations between the ECUs within a theme. For example, a series of ECUs may tell a story chronologically. Outline the classes of a typology or present the facets of a complex situation. One ECU can express a position at the end of a spectrum, followed by an ECU that displays the other pole, thereby generating surprises, twists, and turns that engage readers. The intentional structure of the ECU performs important silent work, identifying, ordering, and balancing the multiple voices and perspectives in any social scientific report. Rightly, as owner of the research project, the author is first to declare their discoveries in the analytic point. They also have the last word in the analytic commentary, but here they speak as diplomatic stewards of the fieldwork and the literature. Yet, authors do not dominate the ECU, for the excerpt is centrally located and surrounded by a moat of space, giving the informant's perspective considerable autonomy and weight, too. This well-designed formation allows the reader to be a conscious spectator and judge of both views of the story.